All right, folks. I've moved. Was this way. Yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. I've moved into the kitchen here at McKinley Heating. You can see that I'm here with Brian Blair. Brian, say Hi. hello. Nice to meet you. Here's what we're going to do for you first. We're going to show you that in this kitchen, we have a uh, Culligan water dispenser that the company uh, has been using for a while until we got our recently acquired reverse osmosis system. So Brian's going to fill a glass of water from this Culligan machine. I'm going to put it down right here so you can see that it says Culligan. Next up, we're going to show you that we're going to take tap water from here in the city of Edmonton. Brian's going to fill that. And we'll put it down here where it says tap water. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to pull water into a Service Experts Advantage water bottle directly out of a reverse osmosis drinking water system, five-stage RO system installed here at McKinley Heating a couple of weeks back. We're going to put this beautiful Service Experts Advantage bottle down. Now, we don't know the results. We don't know what's about to happen. Let me turn my camera around, and Brian is going to demonstrate how to use a TDS meter, and we're going to test Evian water, uh, another brand of bottled water, Tap water, Culligan water, and five-stage reverse osmosis. Here we go. So, Brian, the, the floor is all yours. All right, so the TDS meter, which we all have here. And if you don't, we can get you more. Easy. You turn it on. It's reading zero parts right now. Let me zoom in on that. All right. All right. The cap can be used to fill with water when you're in a home. That is all you have to do. And we stick it in there. Steve, can you read it? Holy cow, that's Evian water? Yep. 243 parts per million of total dissolved solids out of naive water. Evian spelled backwards, folks. That's the word naive. Okay, Brian? Okay. Let's try the, another brand. We have the 7-Eleven uh, spring water, which... Most spring water is water, tap, tap water, water. <laughs> yeah, water out of a ditch. I'm not getting a reading on this one. Either we're not getting a reading, or it's the best water in history. No, it keeps bouncing up and down. Oh, so that's actually one thousand. It's off the scale. Eighteen. So it has an X on it. You see the so, X? Yeah. 1,018 parts per million all from right. the 7-Eleven brand water. Okay, what do we have next? We have tap water. Edmonton tap water. It's starting to come down a little bit now, but you're just around 200 parts per million. One. It's still falling. Oh, I got it out of the water. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's why. All right. So we see 209 parts per million right now. Yeah. Now, what that means to us right now is that Edmonton tap water is better than Evian water right now. And obviously better than the 7-Eleven water. Wow. Okay. Culligan. This is a a machine that this branch uh, rented from Culligan a couple of years ago before we were in the water business that we still have here. All right, what we see here, 160-ish parts per million. So that's currently the best quality of water that we've seen. Right, um, but not much different than your tap water. Not much different. All, All right. right, this is our beautiful bottle that you would have walked into a home with in our water that we filled up with our reverse osmosis. It is taking the tap water from close to 200 parts per million down to 25, 26 parts per million. Now, Brian, what you recommended to me is as a salesperson, what you would recommend, and as a technician, that every day you fill your bottle with reverse osmosis water, yep. and when you visit customers' homes and you offer to test the water, you show them this one is reverse osmosis taken from the system. Let me test that. Exactly. So when you're walking around with reverse osmosis and you're talking with customers about it, whatever they're going to pull out of their taps is most likely what we saw here, 180 parts per million. How does the uh, how does the Culligan water stack up to a Brita filter from that from the fridge? 
A Brita filter or fridge filter is carbon filter, I'm assuming Culligan will strictly be carbon too, which will only take out chlorine and it doesn't do anything with the total dissolved salt. Can do water. Awesome. So, uh, real simple folks, we want you to be carrying a TDS meter with you. We want you to have a bottle of reverse osmosis water with you. Nothing works like real proof. Whatever they offer you to drink, whatever they're using in their home, test it and compare it to reverse osmosis. We think the system will sell itself. Awesome. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, Steve.